And especially the painting and sculpture market has come of age in the last couple of years. And it's mostly due to a small group of South African artists that have caught the imagination of local and international buyers and collectors. And I think the thing that really gave the boost was an artist such as Irma Stern, who really commands a very part, large part of the market. Uh, but Irma Stern, was, an Irma Stern painting was sold successfully uh, to the museum in Qatar for just over 30 million rand. Now that was absolutely groundbreaking. I mean, no total auction had ever got to that sort of figure. What's still one painting making that figure? And then very quickly in succession, we saw several Irma Sterns making 15 million and more. South African art remains relatively cheap to a growing international market who pay in US dollars. And buyers are prepared to pay, and this has increased exponentially. Collectors are looking for something special and unique and it appears that the antique cape furniture and fittings market has captured the attention of foreigners. When it comes to the furniture, it's, it's unique in the sense that, again, you get a slight admixture there in that very strong Dutch influence initially under the Dutch period, uh, but very readily identifiable as a genre on its own. Increasingly, collectors and buyers are seeking out Cape Silver, especially because it's used as part of the furniture of the time. South Africa, particularly the Cape, has a rather unique position in terms of the silver. Again, you get this mixture of Dutch and English, but you actually have silversmiths from the Far East, slaves that come in from Malay slaves or whatever, actually working for the silversmiths. So you do get a slight oriental influence also in the Cape Silver. As this market grows, pieces will fetch bigger price tags. And while Irma Stern remains the toast of the town, other pieces are fetching healthy amounts at auctions around the country. And this is good news for up-and-coming artists who are sure to benefit from increasing local and foreign interest in the country. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV.